Tutorials for Rose X here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to jailbreak the new 3.0 firmware on iPhone 1st uh, gen, iPod Touch 1st gen, and iPhone 3G. This does not work for iPod Touch 2G or um, the I new iPhone 3GS. Um, not quite. So, um, you're going to download a Pwnage tool, which is in the description. You're going to also download the IPSW firmware file. Um, for whatever device you have, which is also in the description, and again, this is on the 3.0 final firmware. Then you're going to open up Pwnage Tool after you have the firmware, probably on your desktop would be the easiest place. Um, I have an iPod Touch, so I'm going to click. Um, I'm going to click the iPod Touch. You just double click it. So it says I have no firmware bundle found. That's because I. Um, didn't download the 3.0 firmware because I'm actually not going to be jailbreaking in this video, but I'm going to walk through um, I'm going to walk through you guys um, What will happen on how to jailbreak with this program? so um, You're going to click on your IPSW file if you've already downloaded it. it's going to show up right here um, Then it's going to ask you if you want to build your IPSW file and you click yes and then um, it's going to start building your IPSW file. You're going to see a box and a bunch of icons going into the box um, that says IPSW on it, and that could take a while. My, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to a half hour, I'm not even sure. Uh, last time it took me like 15 minutes, but I don't know with the new 3.0 firmware how long it could take. Um, then I believe it's going to ask you to turn off your device. Once you do that, you'll have to put it into DFU mode, and it'll walk you through that on screen. But um, so that that'll be easy because it'll walk you through it on screen. But basically, what you're gonna have to do is you're going to have to hold down your home button and your power button for 10 seconds, and then release your power button and keep holding your home button for another 10 seconds. But it'll show you that on screen. It'll have a counter and everything, so that'll be easy. Um, then it'll come up with something saying successfully enter DFU mode close Pwnage tool and restart iTunes and restore to the custom firmware. Now when this happens when this happens in here so wait for it to recognize my iPod and actually uh, <laughs> I can't show you that but well, what it's going to do for you guys is it's going to come up all blank there. It's going to have a picture of your iPod, and it's going to have the restore button right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the option key, which is right next to your command key on your Apple keyboard. Um, hold down the option key, and then click the restore button. And then a little, sorry, a little box is going to come up, and you're going to have to browse um, to where you saved your custom firmware the custom firmware that was made um, it'll pro it'll go to your desktop by default so that custom 3.0 firmware is what you're going to need so browse on your desktop for that custom firmware that was made uh, when it builded your IPSW um, then once you have that located click open and it's going to start restoring to your device then I believe you will get um, I believe you will get a uh, white screen uh, during the very start of the restore, then it's going to go to your pineapple boot logo. Um, then it's going to come to the normal Apple logo with a bar under it that's the progress bar in restoring, and then it, after that it'll come to the pineapple boot logo and it will restart your device, and after it's done restarting, you will have your new jailbroken device with Cydia and Icy. So those two installers. So. This has been Tutorials for OSX, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe if this helped you out. Um, and rate five stars if this also helped you out. So I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys.